dealing with skincare formulation what makes you good is experience if you're not experienced you will make mistake make mistake and believe me that mistake will make you perfect <laughs> so uh whenever most of my students tell me um they made a formulation for the first time and it went wrong it is allowed oh it is allowed it is the normal thing see when you are making formulation even the big brand out there most time formulation go wrong so welcome back to my channel uh this is hbm organic beauty how is every one of you faring how are you doing hope we are all keeping safe uh my condolence go to those of you that lost your relative your friend your brothers your sisters during the uh issue we had uh, recently in our country and i just want to tell everyone of us to keep safe to be safe and we should all pray for this country yeah there's nothing god cannot do so um yeah today i just want to quickly address um some questions i've been getting um if you notice lately i've not been chance to uh, reply messages under um the comments or I've not been able to reply our uh, comments or let me say questions that um you ask based on videos i upload because i am i have been so so busy yeah so so busy and like and i want you to know that um answering to youtube comments has to be done by me it cannot be done by my pa it cannot be done uh, by any other person but me so i'm so sorry for that so my plan is that um I'm going to um, give you a notice ahead. Um, I'll start coming on live now. I'll start coming live on YouTube now so as to answer uh, most of your questions that you have for me concerning uh, most of my videos that I've uploaded uh, previously. So I'm so sorry if you feel I've not been answering. I promise I'm going to make it up to you guys. So soon you start seeing me live often life so today what topic are we discussing about today we want to discuss about black soap you made a black soap that is thick but immediately you had a particular ingredient your black soap will become watery i'm sure so many of you have encountered that because believe me um i have encountered that also and that is why i'm here to just address um issues based on the mistakes or based on my past experiences also so three ingredients that makes your black soap watery goes watery so number one ingredient is glycolic acid believe me when you had glycolic acid directly into your black soap <laughs> your black soap becomes watery for you to be able to use glycolic acid you must have had experience like you must have been a skincare formulator okay because for me now if if i want to add glycolic acid well i don't advise you adding glycolic acid into your black soap in the first place because you know what your glycolic acid is as good as useless because glycolic acid is stable and effective in a ph of 3.5 to uh, 4 so and normally our black soap um is very very alkaline which um um most of the time their ph is um seven to nine so you see when you even pour glycolic acid what your glycolic acid will only do is that it will bring down the ph of the soap but that does not mean that the glycolic acid will do the exfoliating job you have sent the glycolic to go and do in the soap because most because most people don't know the usage rate percentage usage rate to each of their skincare ingredients they just pour and pour they don't know that um each of these skincare ingredients has their maximum usage rate it has um the maximum amount you have to pour into your skincare products now most people when they're making 500 gram of um bath soap they are ready to pour 200 ml of glycolic acid and that is absolutely nonsense like 
you're wasting your glycolic acid and you are spoiling your soap man that soap is not going to come out good it's going to come out running yeah running so now when you pour glycolic acid into your soap no matter how thick your soap is believe me your soap is going to loosen it will loosen and you'll be so surprised now your soap becoming loosened depend on how thick your soap was before you um poured or incorporated the glycolic acid now let's imagine that the black soap is not that thick it is in a creamy form you now add a glycolic acid because you're thinking in your mind that glycolic acid is going to do the escalating work you want it to do in that uh black soap and um once you just had the glycolic acid your black soap just becomes runny yes that is what it will turn out to be because glycolic acid no 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 do not add glycolic acid into your paste soap in general paste soap ba black soap paste soap even if you're adding glycolic acid you have to know what you're doing you have to be systematic about it you have to know um how you can write out your recipe accurately because there's one thing in skincare your recipe determines the outcome of your formulation if you're making a particular product and you have a comma in your recipe in the way you've tabled out your recipe you have a comma in your sample sheet definitely your formulation is going to come out with comma if you are to use glycolic acid which does not have any benefit to give to your black soap but if you're using it for the aim of bringing down the ph of that soap then you have to know how to incorporate it but if you are a beginner you're not a skincare formulator you don't know anything about skincare formulation if you are not if you're not experienced see one thing with skincare formulation what makes you good is experience if you're not experienced you will make mistake make mistake and believe me that mistake will make you perfect <laughs> so uh whenever most of my students tell me um they made a formulation for the first time and it went wrong it is allowed oh it is allowed it is the normal thing see when you're making formulation even the big brand out there most time formulation go wrong believe me formulation go wrong but in each formulation that goes wrong you learn one or two thing from that mistake and that is what makes you a formulator so do not incorporate glycolic acid into your black soap especially if you are a beginner so number two is um when you pour sugar in your black soap now do not get me wrong now do not get me wrong I didn't say sugar is not good in your black soap. Besides, glycolic acid is being derived from sugar. It's a derivative of sugar. You understand? Yeah, glycolic acid is being derived from sugar. But like for me, instead of adding sugar into my black soap, I prefer to pour honey into my black soap. Yeah, I prefer to pour honey. Because believe me, when you pour sugar into your black soap, no matter how thick that black soap was, it will loosen your black soap. And um, um, there's one thing with black soap. When you make black soap, initially it may look very thick. But as time goes on, especially when your black soap is being kept in an environment where um, there is heat, your black soap starts becoming softer and softer. So when you pour sugar, into your black soap you can experiment everything i'm talking about when you pour sugar into your black soap it's losing your soap now the rate at which your soap will loosen depend on how thick your soap was before you added the sugar just like i said um about the glycolic acid too so your glycolic acid losing your black soap it makes it watery your sugar when you pour sugar it makes it watery now it's better to pour sugar into your black soap than pouring glycolic acid because glycolic acid is a direct skincare chemical i'm not saying it kills though it's safe but sugar yeah more natural than glycolic acid liquid so when you pour sugar into your black soap it's preferably than using uh pouring glycolic acid solution 
into your black soap but irregardless of the sugar also your soap will still lose it yeah your soap will still lose it now the third ingredient that's losing your soap your black soap that makes your black soap watery is lactic acid fine i also use lactic acid in my soap formulation but i use it in little quantity when i mean little in the smallest percentage that you cannot even imagine yeah if you are my student you you're going to understand what i mean by in the smallest percentage and what is my purpose of adding lactic acid into uh, my black soap so why do i use lactic acid most of the time in my black soap um the reason is that um when you make black soap your black soap is very very high in alkaline like it's very very alkaline when you make black soap, your black soap becomes very very high in ph yeah it, which makes it very very alkaline most of the time when you're through making your black soap you will be getting ph 12 ph 10 ph 11 with which which is not safe for your which is not safe for your skin because believe me if you should apply a soap that has ph 10 11 on your skin your skin is going to the soap is going to burn you so that's why most of the time some people will say no i'm allergic to black soap when i use black soap black soap burns me when you use black soap that is well balanced that the ph is at the ph level of seven and you use good and nice um botanicals actives to make that soap the soap is not going to burn you you're not going to irritate to that soap so when your soap burns your skin then know that that soap has an issue during formulation it wasn't well formulated so when you had lactic acid into your soap your soap loosen like i said i don't have lactic acid to to my black soap just because i want that black soap to um give me the benefits of lactic acid no i had it so as to adjust the ph of my black soap and that is why i had it and there is how you will have the lactic acid when adjusting the ph of your black soap your black soap becomes totally watery so for a beginner for a beginner for most of you that that have not trained that have not gone for a proper skincare formulation please avoid those three skincare ingredients so instead of using uh, these three skincare ingredient which is your lactic acid your glycolic acid or pouring sugar into your black soap you can use honey into your black soap you can use watermelon into your black soap funny enough watermelon is so good for black soap because believe me the ph of watermelon is almost at the same ph with black soaps which makes your watermelon to be super effective and potent in your black soap so like i said if you don't know anything about skincare formulation if you've not gone for a proper skincare training if you don't know anything about how to work in percentage if you're still doing one tablespoon two tablespoon if you're still guessing our, our quantity what measurement to have into a skincare product because you saw someone on youtube uh, making that product without adding the measurements in a recipe please do not try to pour lactic acid glycolic acid into your soap and don't go and pour sugar now if you want to use sugar you want to use lactic acid like i said there are ways you can use this that is when you are a formulator and you have to apply wisdom because if you don't apply wisdom even as a skincare formulator if you don't apply wisdom in some for in some formulation believe me that formulation will go wrong so thank you so much i hope i've been able to answer uh, these questions because like i said someone just asked me two people have asked me that question actually that what makes your black soap goes uh becomes watery and from experiences i i'm able to figure out this this three there are still more there are still more reason why your black soap can go watery but at least um i believe this three uh will really help you a lot because i know these three are three mistakes that people still make in their black soap so thank you so much i really appreciate you guys and uh, if you're new to my channel kindly consider subscribing and watch out for more of my videos bye